Hey, you there spelled it right this time. Ha uh ha. -huh. Anyway. Partly because of the fact that we need to mentally recuperate after the last four sessions. Um gonna do something that's gonna uh gonna do something fun and go back to not only one of the classics but also the first uh actually second thing we've ever third actually now that i think about it because huh. uh yeah because we started out with legolas by laura uh, uh please don't remind me <laughs> me and zane did a bit of uh star the Kits. star kits prophecy before we actually finally finished that one so I guess yep. this is technically the third one, but the first one we've done long form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As well as, honestly, one of the most enjoyable of any of these. And you know what? I need something enjoyable involving Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. We can't escape the Harry Potter fan fictions. It's too popular. Yes, but we can at least get something that's less edgy. So with that, without further ado, let's do a redux of My Immortal... <laughs> Welcome back, folks. This is the, one of the less classes. edgy fanfic. <laughs> Somehow, and that's saying something. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, I'll start us off with this. Oh, God, chapter one, author's note: special fangs. Get it? Because I'm gothic to my GF. Nice. Ew. Not in that way. Raven, bloody tears. Six 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 for helping me with the story and spelling. You rock, Justin. You're the love of my deprising life. You rock too. MCR rocks. Oh no. Uh, oh, that's honestly a lot of... we did this with great timing, being as the whole revival tour. Oh my, that's a lot of X's right there. Hi, my uh, name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. And I have long <laughs> ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple just born with it. Just popped right out of the womb with long black hair. No, no, she wasn't born, she was just made. She's from a cloning vat. This is a medical mystery. <laughs> With purple streaks and red tips that reach my mid back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears, and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note: If you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, I'll see y'all guys later. I don't know who the fuck that is. Evanescence. Don't even know what the heck an Evanescence is. Evanescence. <laughs> I'm not re I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major uh, he's a major fucking hottie. I mean, oh god, we can't escape the incest. <laughs> oh I mean, if that's, if, I mean, if that's the case, like the whole thing becomes like maybe it's a good thing you're not related because you have a chance with him. <sighs> I mean, yeah. he's also in his 40s, so I think... Well, now, yes. But... I'm just picturing Tom in the background trying to tell that to Ebony, and she just looks at him and hisses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that you fucking prep? <laughs> I'm don't saying don't incest water. him. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Holog Hog the the Hogwarts. Hologram? Anyway. Hologram, Hologram words. Yes. This is a simulation. She has figured it out. Restart the simulation. There is no spoon. In England, where I'm in the seventh year, I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. I'm for example, she orders online. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put my middle finger. I put up my middle finger at them. She's Just not wearing walking. her uniform, is she? No, she's not. Why is she flipping us off? <laughs> hey, Ebony! Shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. Then why did you start a conversation with me? <laughs> Can't French just talk? <laughs> You're really There's your first talk, mistake. Draco. We're not friends! <laughs> Zane. Oh, right. I have to read. Ugh. Yes. Uh. But Lots then. of X's. Oh, no. never mind. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Chili dogs? <laughs> Chili dogs? 
Uh, author's note. Is it good? Pulls tell me fangs. Honestly, in this desolate wasteland for the past two weeks, yes. This has been a lot better. <laughs> this is this is <sighs> enjoyable. <laughs> I've missed this kind of bullshit. <laughs> Chapter 2. Author's Note. Thanks to Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the chapter. BTW Prep, stop flaming my, sto my story, okay? <laughs> oh, my story! <clears throat> also, in this large group of X's, there is a 666. <laughs> the next day, I woke up <laughs> in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. <laughs> I opened the door to, of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. <laughs> that bottle is never as good as from the tap. I, I'm not going there. Never mind. The <laughs> coffin was black ebony, and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. All right. <laughs> the fucking laces and the weird... Ugh. <laughs> I got out of my coffin and took uh, took of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I had used for pajamas. Instead, I put on my black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. Put on four pairs of earrings and my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. Uh, cracking open a warm one with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> You know those things that they use to get like maple syrup to drain from trees? Just stab someone with that. Ah! What are you doing? Sorry, man. I just need some blood. <laughs> it's stab getting all over the back. floor. What the fuck? Uh, there, goddamn! You, you crank it open and then you put a cup under the spigot. Dragon don't suck. Dragon a scrape and lick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe who wasn't listening? Dragon a scrape and lick like this. <laughs> Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> my friend willow author's oh, note raven this is you woke up and then grinned at me uh, woke up then and grinned at me she flipped her long waist length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes never did understand why she would smile at me then open her eyes it's kind of unsettling <laughs> maybe that was the point <laughs> i sent Put you ebony her... you're coming <laughs> what is with all the pictures of anime girls eating? Hey, man. This is just helping calm me down, okay? <laughs> you have your way of coping, Lydic. Zane has his way. Yeah. Mine involves watching people eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, God. She put on her mare. You know, considering how I've been with music recently, I can only imagine what the author character for this would think of of uh, the band in this moment. Hmm. I don't know if you've uh, you might have heard one of their songs, Tom. Uh, Black Wedding. Oh no, I've I've heard I've yeah. heard a few of their songs. Black. Yeah, I like them. Mm -hmm. They're they're good. Uh, well, uh, the best way I can describe. I've yet to hear one that I disliked. I mean. There's some that I like, and then there are others that I'm kind of indifferent to, is what I should um, explain. It's like, they're one of those bands that, like, it's like, yeah, I'll listen to them if they're on, but it's like, um, it's like, eh, I could listen to something else. Uh, because of the fact that they've been releasing new stuff, I've been actually actively listening to them recently. Because mm -hmm. they did the In Between and Hunting Ground uh, were released recently. Hmm. But the best way I could describe it to any of you who haven't heard them, is imagine if Marilyn Manson and Lady Gaga have a had a child who was then occasionally babysat by Rob Zombie. That's actually a pretty good way of describing it, yeah. <laughs> if that sounds like a good thing to you, you have great taste. <laughs> that sounds like a bad... Uh, if that sounds like a bad thing to you. We respect your opinion, but know that you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Y'all said three different words, and I didn't understand any of them. <laughs> Rob Zombie, Lady Gaga, and the third one. I don't know what Marilyn any of those Manson? are. Marilyn Manson. I don't know what any of that is. <laughs> you see, Lady Gaga is that, uh, that person who put out that tweet of, what's a Fortnite? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I don't even Fortnite? know what a Fortnite is. So It's a period of about two weeks. I see. Interesting. <laughs> it's also a free video game. I was going to say, it was also the thing that robbed God of War of 2018's Game of the Year. Wait, it's also a game yep. where a bunch of sweat... Yep. 
I, yeah, I, yeah, everyone was like, pissed. I don't even consider it itself a bad game. I just don't feel that that should have got game of the year. The stigma anyway. against Fortnite is that it looks very cartoonish and a lot of children play it due to the fact that it's free. This is giving the game a very negative connotation despite the fact that the game is very good and its actual building mechanic has been very impressive and something that has never been done before. It could deserve Game of the Year, but the stigma against it is probably overblown due to the fact that children play it a lot and it's being used and abused by lots of streamers and other people to get views from those kind of audiences. I'd say that also the predatory... Uh... Monetization yeah, the V bucks are also a problem too. V bucks are definitely a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's more of a problem than the fact that children play it. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not no, that. Or the, the cartoony art that. style. I'm saying that people are becoming popular through children through Fortnite. Yeah, that's the whole thing. It's yeah. like, it's like, okay, yeah, children can play different games, but like, if you're if you're gonna have a game that a bunch of children play, don't put microtransactions. You know what? Don't put microtransactions in anything, but just. Just, I mean, Devil, the latest like Devil May Cry got away with it, but that's because you didn't even need to use them if you were any good at the game, because you would have gotten more stuff through playing the game than you would have through the microtransactions. Yeah, you see, the, uh, th that's one of the things. It's like, okay, so there's this one game that I like to play um, on occasion called Sea of Thieves. It's a lot of fun. Anything, the, uh, they do have microtransactions, but everything for that is just cosmetics. It's nothing, it doesn't help well, like, you even play then, the game. There it's, are some slight issues with cosmetics because, I mean, fashion souls is a thing for a reason. Mm -hmm. How you look in the game is something that, uh, like, your ability to control how you look in the game in a game, if that is an issue, well, uh, if that is an option, is something that is going to affect your enjoyment. Well, even that, it's not and you. So, you can get access to all of the clothes without microtransactions. You can, you just okay. can buy like different things. Like you can get like a pet parakeet or something with. Some so it's not like the whole thing in like Fortnite of you have to pay to get other skins. No, 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 okay. not at all. You just go sailing. You get treasure and you buy the gold yourself. Everything is unlockable. See if these is practically yeah, yeah. amazing, and the devs are really cool. Like. All right. It's it's also cross platform, but I think all games should be like that. So, oh yeah, but then that would make uh, like the console companies less money. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it's the same issue that happened with Nvidia's uh, streaming service. That basically, like, you could buy the game on Steam, uh, and then you would be able to play it regardless of whether or not your computer was good for it using their streaming service, in which basically. It would be you were more watching a feed of yourself playing it. So you mm -hmm. were controlling it through like your keyboard and stuff, but it wasn't the game itself wasn't being run on your computer. It was being run on a server with your input from your computer controlling everything. Hmm. I think like I'm not con I'm not explaining that poorly, am I? Like I am explaining no, I, that. It, it, okay. it makes it makes sense. And that sounds as kind soon of as you honestly. <laughs> Well, it was a whole thing of, like, if you don't have a gaming PC, but you want to play certain computer games. Yeah. And you have the money to buy the games, but not a gaming PC. Mm-hmm. So, like, providing that kind of service, which is a very valuable service, and the thing would only cost you about, like, five bucks a month to do that. Okay, yeah, that, that I can get behind. That's... But uh, once it exited trial period, Bethesda... Uh, and Ubisoft pulled out without warning. Well, that because well, they're not going to be making any extra money from it. Well, yeah, I mean, despite the Ubisoft. fact that they're still making money from the game being sold, because it's not like you still have to buy the game. Fucking corporations, anyway. Let's get back to reading. She put on her Marilyn Manson T-shirt with a black uh, with a black mini fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. Oh, MFG, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. It was two sentences. It's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> I ship it. I ship it! <laughs> Hi, hello. Oh my god, I can't believe you talked to him. I know, right? <laughs> what did you say? Hi. What did he say? Hello. Oh my wait, god, you should wait. get married. <laughs> I'm just about to think, wait, was that it? Yes. I think it's true love. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I said blushing woo. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> do, you, do you like Dwayko? She asked as we went out of the slithering common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. <laughs> yeah, right, she exclaimed, just then Draco walked up to me. So he was in earshot this entire time. <laughs> Do you like Draco? No. Hi, Drake. Uh, hi. Oh, hi, Draco. <laughs> uh, 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 hi, Draco. <laughs> she oh, this falls is over on the ground and dies. <laughs> oh, fuck no. She's a vampire. She's already dead. Wait. <laughs> it depends on the universe. Yes. <laughs> oh god hello he said are there vampires in Harry Potter yes mm -hmm. we don't are get much lore on them we just know they exist fuck I can't I don't have the proper news for this fan fiction then god damn it like there's a brief mention of like a vampire population in Romania or something like that oh cool Tom's line. Was it? Yes, uh, I, I said I mine. Hello, he said. Ooh, woo. Hi, what I replied. This? Hi, I replied flirtily. A little bit of that flirtily. Notice his eyeliner. Ooh, woo, what's this? Notice your wand. What's this? <laughs> uh, it's my line. Uh, I forgot yes. what it was. This? Guess. Guess what? He said. What? I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Well, at least it's not simple plan. <sighs> wow, amazing! <laughs> I have no idea who that is! Please tell me in excruciating detail the description of the band that you're talking about so that everyone at home, and not just me, please don't be only me, knows who the fuck you're talking about. A subpar emo core band. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I think that picture tells you all you need to know. <laughs> no, that's good Charlotte. That's not Simple Plan. That's good Charlotte. Oh, Simple Plan? Okay, I don't know who Simple Plan is either. I don't think anyone remembers Simple Plan. It'll be like That's that one fucking Simple Plan fan that comes out of the woodwork of How dare you! <laughs> How dare you say such a thing about my favorite band in the world? I will... I'll get you and all my Simple Plan fans to report your channel so that you get banned from YouTube. Alright, oh, have fun all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just say your line, Zay. Oh my fucking god, I screamed. I love GC. They're my favorite band besides MCR. Well, do you want to get with me? He asked. Wait, no, I that gasped. was Draco. My bad. <laughs> Le gasp. <laughs> I've been giving Draco a woo voice. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter three. Author's note. Stop flamming the story preps, okay? Otherwise, fangs to the gothic people for the good reviews. Fangs again, Raven. Oh, yeah, BTW. I don't own this or the lyrics for good Trellot. Kralote. 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 The Lady of Shalot. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> Dang, your line. Uh, on. On. Yes. The yes. night of the concert, I put on my black lace boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Oh, God, they're back. <laughs> it's been nothing but fishnets. And they've only been black once. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with the, all the all this corset stuff on the back and front, <laughs> you know, just wherever I want on my dress or mini skirt or whatever, mini, whatever the hell you're wearing. I Not an actual corset, just corset stuff. I put on my matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. <laughs> I forgot no. about this. Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. My entire face was crushed under the entire ton of eyeliner. <laughs> then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. 
And a metric I think ton I know what book one. you read. Which one? Give me a sec. Oh, I no. found out my favorite anime girl eating something. I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. Time itself will be eaten. Yeah. Clearly it was this book. All my friends are dead. Oof. <laughs> or the sequel. Is that, is that an actual book? Yes. <laughs> okay. All my friends are still dead. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you gotta find the Dragon Balls, man. Come on. You got to I... find the... <laughs> I have dinosaur Shenron. I well, there as... are dinosaurs in the Dragon Ball Z universe, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about there. that. That is fucking weird. <laughs> That's not weird. It's Toriyama. <laughs> yeah, weird. So I want to dragons. I want to argue, but I can't. <laughs> it's a story that it, I mean, we're talking about a universe that involves a pig that wants nothing more than underwear. It's the simple things in life, man. <laughs> uh, uh... I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan T-shirt. God damn it. <laughs> Did you know about that? <laughs> I I remember there being at least one mention of Simple Plan because in addition to MCR, it's also just all like the basic bitch like fucking emo like emo core song. I like bands. Hmm. It's like, oh, here's here's one of the good ones, and then also all this shit. Mm -hmm. uh, they would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants. Oh god! What is it? Aren't they called like Jinko jeans or something like that? Just like those I don't know. Really, like uh, you have to have like a special kind of outfit to make it work. Like the massive legs with like chains all over them. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. Nah. Uh, black nail polish and a little eyeliner. Author's note: A lot for cool boys wear it. Ock. I mean. Now sometimes I do. Hi, Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Draco. <laughs> Hi, Draco. He <laughs> <laughs> just starts crying. <laughs> Life is meaningless. Yes. Life is meaningless, so make your own meaning. My meaning is, go home. Your go meaning is your line. <gasps> Hi, Ebony. Ooh, ooh, he said back. He walked into his flying black Mercedes beans. <laughs> the license plate said 666 and flew to the place with the concert, Hogsmeade. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Char Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte's Web, and Marilyn Monroe, The Mansion. Hi. We both <laughs> smoked cigarettes and drugs. We smoked all the drugs. When we got uh, there, yes, we both like hopped drug, <laughs> one entire drug. <laughs> when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlie. Someone said riot and then beat the shit out of someone. Someone yelled <laughs> world star. <laughs> it all hell broke loose. <laughs> you come in cold, you're covered in blood. They're so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands it to your mom. You're set free into this life, saying, Joel, I don't own the lyrics to that song. Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Yeah, I know, Draco said. <laughs> I mean, Draco thinking anyone's he's high. all right. <laughs> he looks like a British schoolboy. Not my type. Ah, uh, I see. You're more into the, um, let's see, Swedish. People who look virgin. like they're legal. <laughs> Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe he's in college. <laughs> <laughs> you you never know. <laughs> I prefer people that don't look like I'm going to need to ID them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, before I even consider flirting with you, I'm going to have to see your ID. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I mean, it's courteous to ask, so. <laughs> <laughs> we take Tom to a bar, like, as soon as someone hits on him, I'm going to need some ID. <laughs> oh, my God. I just hovering behind uh, someone. The I need only, some ID. <laughs> the only way y'all are going to get me to a bar is if you let me be your designated driver. <laughs> you, exactly. You're flirting while sober, then. That's I, no, I'm not going to be flirting. I've got a girlfriend. I'm just going to keep an eye on you two. <laughs> oh, hold on. Actually, All right, bring her. She's a win man for you. <laughs> I need to ask her. If, I need to see her ID for you. How about that? <laughs> I'll make sure she's legal for you. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I gotta. Anyway, <laughs> whose fucking line is it? It's Zane's. <laughs> oh no! Suddenly. Suddenly, I can see. I don't know the song. Suddenly, Draco looks sad. Aww. Mm, sad poor boy. sad oh, Draco. Wow. Sad Draco, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's this? No, it says you're sad. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to only be funny to us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all that matters. Jesus fucking Christ. Why is r slash anime burgers a thing? Because <laughs> everything is a thing. It's the internet. Good point. You, mean you don't I... like anime girl and burgers? I mean, it's not the weirdest subreddit I've came across. That'd probably be r slash boobs from behind. Um, I've got something I need to look up real quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I found that is because I was on r slash bad woman's anatomy. And like There's someone was like, from below. and someone was like, oh, sometimes you can't see them from behind. And like, wait, what? Yeah, here's a link. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna flood the chat with cute bird pictures. <laughs> I mean, I could flood it with monster girls. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh okay? Yeah, what's wrong? That's your line. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed the music. Then I got on. I'm just imagining just jumping up and down with the crowd. What's wrong? <laughs> hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. I mean, if he proposed a three way. <laughs> Hashtag relationship goals, question mark. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Thruple. The lead singer of Good Charlotte and these two fucks. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this thing is so tiny. What? Hang on. Hang on. Wait, what? This is one of the cutest pictures I've ever seen. Look at how small it is. Oh, (laughs) God. That is is the ugliest little baby I've ever seen. Shut up. He's adorable and beautiful. He's a hairy baby. I never (laughs) said he wasn't adorable. I just said he was ugly. There's a difference. Okay. (laughs) That is a cute lion. He's a hairy baby. Hey, there's Look, a there's bird even in the a bird. <laughs> I've given something for everyone. Burb. Yay! Burb. For anyone wondering, we are spamming the chat with pictures because we very, all have our ways of coping. Very stupid pictures. Anyone else in this Discord must be very fucking confused. Or they're enjoying the ride. I mean, whose fucking line is it? Zane's line. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. Uh, last night really? was really. What, what, Question really? mark. Will we? As Draco <laughs> sensitive we as he put his arm around me all protective like. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I fucking hate that little bitch. Why, you... because she's dating your man, quote unquote? <laughs> I mean, I'd say that the only real reason to hate her is that terrible rock cover she did, but... Really it. That was just that a case of someone. That was just a case of something being Disney the fuck out of. Disney the fuck out of. I don't think a terrible cover is something to hate someone about. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Oop. Zan- hey Tom, huh? did you read your line? Yeah. I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. Somehow her face is blonde. I guess she grew a beard. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, it is my line. Sorry. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. Zoda Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got the good Charlotte concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The wall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Pink Floyd, what are you doing here? To the window, to the wall. The, the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> the sweat dripped down my shame orbs. Author's note. I said stop. Flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Enobi. Not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that she is acting different. Didn't know each other before, okay? We are on chapter four, by the way. Also, good to know her Ebony's name is Enobi, not Mary Sue. Enobi! Enobi! Oh god, now I just want to create a character called Enobi. It is I, Enobi! Oh god, have that be an edgy rogue. <laughs> I actually made a tiefling that, like, a, I, I can't remember what it was, but she she called Draco something different in this one, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a character named that. <laughs> They're all cool. Wait. Uh, okay. Uh, Draco, I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it, too, curiously. Unfortunately, we were about 40 feet in the air. A pile of vampire on the ground. Is my line Draco? No, it's what the fucking hell. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. <laughs> Ebony Owu, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco weaned an extra close and looked into his goth and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts. Oh god damn it. Since the last time we read that, and since now one of my friends starts wearing colored contacts for fun. And all I'm thinking of is him in this situation now, and just oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which feels so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. Ah, uh, yes, you're red-eyed emo, G uh, emo BF. Red-eyed emo boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, my red-eyed emo boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, God. And then... Uh, suddenly, just as I, Draco, kissed me passionately. Or did you finish your lines in? I did. I did. Okay, I yeah. Thought it was, I thought it was my line. I heard the pause. I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> suddenly, just, uh, uh, suddenly, just as I Draco kissed me passionately, Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took That's of us. my top and I took of his clothes. I even took of my bra. Bra. Up against a tree. That sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Then he put his thingy in my you know what we did for the first time. Oh, 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 I screamed as I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became all. <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, if Tom were to write a sex scene. <laughs> hey, I could make it tasteful. Can uh, I. You sure? Yeah, I could. I'm just not going to. <laughs> and now, enter. Uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie edition. Zane. Huh? You're lying. <laughs> really? Yes. You get to reenact... No. Oh! You get to reenact the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> You can put your name in the Goblet of Fire. Ebony, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> okay, so I was looking at cute bird pictures and I found this. This is funny, but at the same time, I don't know if it's in poor taste, but I'm just going to leave it in chat. I can delete it if it's if it's bad, but I, I found this funny. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I kind of want to own that. <laughs> I, I would wear that. You want me to give you the link? <laughs> <laughs> it was gamer.
Dumbledore. There we go. <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> okay. Damn it. And uh, all right. Chapter, Chapter five. Five. Author's note: Stop flaming. If you flame, it means you're a prep or a poser. The only reason Dumbledore is swore is because he had a. This is the fourth movie. Headache, okay. And on top of that, he was mad at Dim for having sex. P.S. I'm not. I'm not updating until I get five good reviews. I forgot how how terrible the spelling is here, but okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a special treat. <laughs> Zane. Yes. You're lying. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. No. What? You I skipped. Can't... Dumbledore made the and the Drake and follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. I you started. Know, you, you beef with ludicrous. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. Checked out by a doctor. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. I'm angry. Angry. Don't talk me, I'm angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest! <laughs> he yelled. Angrily. In a furious voice? Yeah. You might even say? Yes. He was furious, or he was furious. Oh, God, he's a furry. <laughs> I can't escape. Nope. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. Oh, God, Professor, Professor McGonagall's the librarian. <laughs> no, that wasn't the librarian voice. It kind of sounded like it, but uh, eh, maybe not. I mean, it's also a high nasally voice, but this is McGonagall. And this is the librarian! Always yelling at all times! Okay. <laughs> How dare you! forgot you. to return your library books! Demanded Professor Snape. <laughs> <laughs> and then Draco shrieked, Because I love her! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, God! Are you amazing? <laughs> Shaggy Rogers does an awoo 2020. Colorized. You, you sounded like you were trying to do a Shaggy impression. <laughs> I, and then ended it with I, a woo. I, <laughs> like Scoob because I love her. Anyway. Like, I can't every... live without her Scoob. I need her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say a woo in that voice. What? Say a woo in that voice. Ooh. I don't know if I can do the voice. Like, ooh, Scoob. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was quiet. <laughs> As you would if Shaggy were to suddenly a woo. <laughs> Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well. You may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay? I gotta stop doing the shaggy thing. <laughs> Are you okay, Ebony? <laughs> Draco asked me gently. <laughs> I'm zoink, Scoob. Fucking <laughs> damn it. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I guess I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. When I came out of the closet... Wait. Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. I was so oh, flattered. Oh, God, it's a musical. Even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight and he reluctantly went back into his room. <laughs> You see, unlike the Gryffindor common the Gryffindor common room in which the stairs to the girls' dormitory suddenly just turn into a slide and you're unable to climb up, the Slytherin one just sets you on fire. Yep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to keep the boys out of the girls' dorm. <laughs> to keep the boys out of the girls' dorm, it sets you on fire. <laughs> 
I would be tempted to do it just to see if it really would set me on fire. <laughs> uh, no one does it, ah! <laughs> Like, hi, I know this is a girl's do- dorm, but I heard that you light people on fire. Can you show me? <laughs> just stumps to get to the door. Like, halfway to the door, catches fire. Ah! Uh! <laughs> no, just catches fire. Well, this was not thought out. Ah! <laughs> just runs. <laughs> Tom's line. No, wait, no. Chapter six. Zane. <sighs> Shh! I won't update it to for Ravals. Good. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. Well, at I least you're a... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it'd be then again, honestly, it'd just be weird after you establish that you own a bed to have to point out every time that the character woke up in a bed. True. I woke up on the kitchen counter. <laughs> I put on a black mini skirt that was all ripped around the end and a matching top with red skulls. To, oh god, it's red skull. Gonna have to deal with super Nazis. All over it in high heeled boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. Not cross necklaces, just crosses. Two entire crosses. In my ears. I spray paint I spray painted my hair with purple. But what if it was purple? God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain was in my sleeve the whole time. <laughs> in the Great Hall I ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk, and a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Did you just, like, slam headfirst into the table? Just, like, someone accidentally bumps into her and she just, like, bodily slams into the table. Face plants into it. Bastarda! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I, I looked up because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy and, with spiky black hair and red with red streaks. And, oh no. Oh no. Still better than other so Harry. So much eyeliner that I was going down that, that was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore and now that he was wearing red contact lenses just like Draco and there was a there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. What? No. <laughs> he was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him. Kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. That's quitter talk. <laughs> you have to try hard enough. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that one line from Red vs. Blue. You can't do that, such and such. Well, they said girls couldn't ejaculate either, but look at me now. What? What? <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry about the other terrible fanfiction that I'm in, he said in a shy voice. The superior Harry. <laughs> oh, hail. That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. <laughs> My name's Harry Potter, although most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Yes. Also, my last name got changed to Winsleydale for a bit. It was weird. <laughs> I am Vampire Winsleydale. <laughs> Vampire Winsleydale. I need to make a character named Vampire Winsleydale just because. <laughs> Why are you naming that? It's a long story. <laughs> Several hours worth of content in that story. Why? I exclaimed. <laughs> okay, so what's with the mountain with D and D memes? Like, okay, oh, <laughs> I I don't get it. <laughs> okay, basically, there was a tweet a while back uh, of someone who was a DM, and he said, "So, in my campaign, I was doing a time travel thing 
And in the past version of the map, I accidentally put in a mountain that isn't there in the modern version. And one of the players said, I can't wait to find out what happened to that mountain. Me too, <laughs> bud. Me too. <laughs> okay, okay. Now that was a few months ago. Okay. A few days ago, from when we're recording this, a follow-up happened with, the, uh, with that tweet, with them putting a poll underneath. What bullshit do you uh, what bullshit do you guys think should have happened to where the mountain disappeared without anybody ever being willing to talk about it? <laughs> and it was Doctor Who timey wimey bullshit. It got up and walked away. A wizard did it and something else. And the thing that won the vote was it got up and walked away. I was about to say that sounds like the best version, honestly. It wasn't a mountain at all. It was well, I'm ancient. just imagining like that entire time, like we shall never speak of this. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever believe us. <laughs> because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. Eh, it's kind of overrated. I'm not too big on sucking on a penny. Yeah, copper doesn't taste very good. Not generally. I mean, I guess it's kind of an acquired taste, but not my thing. Zane. Yes? You're lying. <gasps> well. Well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Yeah, I roared. <laughs> I know this is entirely done as a joke, but to just any actual like aspiring writers out there, sometimes you can just use said. Mm-hmm. This entire, like, conversation is just like an exercise in, like, that thing that aspiring writers do, where it's like, I can't just use set all the time, I need to change it up. You can you change can it up a little, set. but... <laughs> just don't have it towards a new one every single time. Mm -hmm. Zane's line. <sighs> One, two, is it the X's? No. We sat. We sat on him. We sat oh. down for a while, then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. I'd say what I said the first time we did this, but that'd just be too easy. Chapter 7, Bring Me to Life. Author's note. Well, okay, you guys, I'm only writing writing this because I got five god revows. Well, it is Mardi Gras. Like, there's a lot of God-based God parades. Like, I knew about the Thoth one, but on the day we're recording this, there's also Athena, Pandora, uh, Okeanos, and Bacchus. So that's interesting. In BTW, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten God Vons. Still flaming, or ill report you. Ebony isn't a Mary Sue. She okay, she isn't perfect. She's a Satanitz. I'm not sure that's a character flaw. <laughs> Gonna say it. Character flaws is a cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> Personality trait, cobalt. Bond, cobalt. Ideal, cobalt. Flaw, cobalt. <laughs> the thing is, it actually works. <laughs> and she has problems. She's depressed for God's sake. Which God? Please, tell me. I need to know. Lots of X's, 666. Lots more X's and a Z in there somewhere for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. Oh, God. Hand-holding, guys. I think we're getting into really lewd territory here. Yeah, this might too be, be too much for Tom. <sighs> I was wearing red Satanist things, things on my nails in red nail polish. Oh, there's notes. See, does that sound like a Maru Su to you? Yes. A little bit. <laughs> yes. I, w <laughs> I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous <laughs> of me that I was going out with Draco. No, no. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Vampire is later jealous on. of you. Yeah. Yes, Vampire is jealous of you. You're fucking Any his ex. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then... 
<laughs> we started Frenching passively, and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took off, took off my top. Oh, then I man. took off my black leather bra, and he took off his pants. He We went onto the bed and started making out naked, and then he put his boy's thingy in mine, in your boy's thingy, and we had sex. See, is that stupid? Yes. Docking. <laughs> oh, God. I need to f find... Okay, there is a thing someone did of a Maya Moore comic, and they did that whole Frenching passively thing. Like, drawn out, and it was one of the funniest fucking things to me. Let me find it. Uh... Let me... See, there's the Because I Love Her scene. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh my fucking! <laughs> I oh god! Um, uh, I wasn't expecting a reference to this. Nobody expects stuff like that. Oh uh, no, this. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a Hogwarts student, but I'm also a Satanist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the Trium Elephantly one. What the fuck is it? Um. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I, I think the comic is also on the wiki, so that's useful. Oh, right, I... Oh, God. Anyway, like, if you ever see the comic, dear God, it is amazing and terrible all at once. Someone literally made a comic adaptation of the goddamn thing. And I love it. Anyway. Uh... Oh, Draco. Draco, I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black art with an arrow through it. On a bloody gothic writing were the words... Vampire. Honestly, considering some of the writing I've... Like, gothic writing I've seen for, like, different metal bands and shit like that, I'm amazed you could even read it in the first place. I was so angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... You? You! You bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of bed. This must be what? the work of an enemy stand. <laughs> this must be the stand. <laughs> the stand's helping them get out of bed. <laughs> oh, God. Just yeets them out of bed. That would be an interesting crossover. Harry Potter and JoJo. <laughs> the power of my stand. Yeet! <laughs> what do you think's faster, a stand or a wizard? Uh, a depends stand. On the wizard. <laughs> depends on the wizard. Depends, depends on the on stand. The stand. <laughs> depends on both. Yeah. Yeah, because Dio? He's faster for sure. <laughs> Dio's know, a little a... fucking vampire, so yeah. I mean, oh, he God. does fuck. Oh, God. Dio with the freaking... Um... With the freaking blood amulet or whatever. Imagine no, no, that. No. You see, what we do is we give Dio the three deadly hollows. Hmm. We have Dio, but now he's invisible. <laughs> Dio versus Voldemort. <laughs> oh, God. It would just go on forever. Honestly, I think Dio would win on that one because he'd well, find a way. To... If the Horcruxes are still a thing. It would just go on forever. Well, just honestly, be Dio... be fighting each other without end. Well, it would be a good way to deal with them. Just throw them into the Phantom Zone and leave them to fight forever. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm, I think Avada Kedavra would probably work on a vampire. It might. So it would basically just go until says fuck it and cast the killing curse. 
Hmm. No, 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 you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. Words that will never be said about this character. <laughs> no, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. God damn it. <laughs> Oof. Um, is it's a it big no? oof for me, dog? It's gonna be a no for me, dog. I put on. I put on all my clothes, all huffy, and then stomped out. Draco ran out, even though he was naked. He had a really big, you know what? But I was too mad to care. I stomped out and and belly did, button so, until I was <laughs> vampire's classroom. <laughs> he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay. No. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker. I have... Chapter 8. <laughs> Author's note. Stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are prep. I mean, I'd rather be flashing than flossing. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Is it everyone? Yes. Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. Everyone was distracted by the size of his belly button. <laughs> oh, God damn, that belly button. <laughs> Body shots would be a half a gallon. Oh, God, that is a terrible mental image. It wasn't an umbilical cord, it was an umbilical rope. Ebony, it's not what you think. Draco screamed sadly. My friend Bloody Mar B. Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understatedly. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She had pale Why white skin. Keep doing that? She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother, and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it, and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she has converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. <laughs> That's how that works. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Like, it's, just a, it's just a door that's a griffin. <laughs> oh, God. It's been a while since the doors pecked my eyes out. <laughs> what is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape yeah, you see, man. this is the Snape we need in all these, like, fuck you, Dumbledore fanfics. <laughs> Snape we, need this Dumbled angrily. we need this Snape and this Dumbledore. In his cold <laughs> voice, but I ignored him. I, I want Dumbledore to call all those he edgy versions of Harry a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter, you motherfucker. You dense motherfucker. Harry Potter, you fucked up the timeline, you fucker. <laughs> Vampire, I can't believe you treated on me with Draco. Wait, we were dating. Wait. Tom? Everyone gasped. Sorry, I lost my line for a sec there. Leg gasp. Leg James gasp. line. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire. Wait, no, this is Draco, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> Therefore, he should be singing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why Ebony was so oh mad God. at me. <laughs> I had went out with a Vampire. I'm biased, and so is Ebony, for a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems and now he was gothic. Haha, <laughs> like I would hang out with a prep. <laughs> Snoop. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore. What's going on? Said Vampire. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you right. Fuck off, you bastard. I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the forbidden forest where I'd lost my vir virility to Draco, and then I started uh -huh. with tears. <laughs> All right, one more chapter, and then we're done for today. Okay. Zane. 
Chapter 9. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? I didn't read all the books. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. This was, I shouldn't have had a headache. And the reason Snap doesn't like hair now is because he's Christian and vampires is Satanist and my chemical romance rocks. Again, I really wish that it was this version of the teachers and terrible Harry Potter fan fictions. Just so we could have someone just roasting the shit out of edgy Harry. You ridiculous dimwit. <laughs> you ludicrous fool. You can't just go back in time and stop Voldemort from existing in the first place. You might never be born. <laughs> Why are you like this, Harry? I was so mad and sad. I could have believed Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. You know, I don't think I would ever be able to find a tree I had someone... Uh, I, I had someone... I had sex with someone up against. In a forest. It'd be kind of hard to locate that tree. Then all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. Okay. He didn't it's have a nose. Every, it's an everything bagel. <laughs> he didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie. And he was wearing all black, but it was obvious gothic. It was Voldemort. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. He's emo. All right. <clears throat> no! I shouted in a scarred or scared, I don't know, voice, but then Voldemort shouted imperious and I couldn't get away. Crookshanks, I shouted at him, yeeting her cat. <laughs> That's the name of the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Which, Gross if you've cat. read the comic, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> so Voldemort's just having this conversation with Crookshanks perched on his head. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Uh, Ebony, he yelled, thou must kill Vampire Potter! <laughs> I thought about Vampire and his sexy eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looks just like Joe Ma Joel Madden. No. <laughs> I remember that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? You mean the obvious? No, Voldemort, I shouted back. <laughs> Voldemort gave me a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this gun. <laughs> Mater, has, Mater has given Dobby a Glock. Toppy will be free. <laughs> Have you seen that one? <laughs> no. No, please, I begged. I haven't seen that one. I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite Tumblr posts. <laughs> Fuck, I'm hungry. Hold on. Go fucking hell. God damn, fucking. Haven't eaten anything all day, but wait. <sighs> We're almost done, Zane. I'm I don't care. I'm taking a bite out of food right now. <laughs> I'm dropping it all over the floor though. Fuck. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, mm. mm mm mm. You no, know, maybe not. Mm. Bacony. Mm. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> Hamburger helper. Ah, okay. <laughs> How did you know? I asked in a surprised way, or is it that most? Thou must. <laughs> thou must, he yelled. If thou dost not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. <laughs> uh, so just the Photoshop picture makes it better. <laughs> Why is Dobby T posing? <laughs> because he's exerting dominance. <laughs> <laughs> On Mater. <laughs> oh, God. How, how did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude you're so retarded look on his face. <laughs> ah, okay. So basically my expression through the entirety of Harry Potter and the girl who lived. Yes. <laughs> I have telekinesis! My ability to move objects with my mind has told me of your relationship status. 
And if you doth not kill Vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco. He shouted. He shall get a bad case of diarrhea from bad Chipotle. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that he wasn't even sitting on it. He was just like standing. I was so scared and mad I didn't know what to do. Suddenly Draco came into the woods. Ah, God, put your clothes on already. Draco, I said. Hi. Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyes. Kind of like a pentagram. Get it? Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? Why does I... everyone look like Joel Madden? I don't know. Are you okay? I asked. No. He answered. <laughs> okay. I mean, anyway, I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me. I expelled Hermione. <clears throat> That's okay, he said, all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts together, making out. That gotta make it hard to look where you're going. One more chapter, we Gucci. No, uh, we go. Alrighty. Well, all this right. is coming I back. Working it's lovely. <laughs> All right, a uh, special thank you to Destiny Baird for joining us on Patreon. If you like what we do and would like to support us, then consider going down to the link in the description and donating to our Patreon. And with that, we will leave you. Y'all have a good one now. No. Stay oh, gothic. Whoops. Stay gothic. <laughs>